All right, Soccer Master fans, we're going to finish off the Troma Triple B Header Volume 1. We're watching Zombie Island Massacre, starring Rita Jenrette. Let's watch. The movie starts with Sandy, the actress Rita Jenrette, taking a shower. And her boyfriend Joe scares her. Later on, uh, they board a boat. They're tourists heading off to an island. Somewhere in the Caribbean. Once they arrive, they attend some sort of a uh, voodoo festival. Or ritual. Where they apparently uh, kill a live goat. ways away from the voodoo ritual this couple is making out in the woods. When they're trying to leave later on. I'm sure I don't know, but a driver seems to have disappeared. Bus driver has gone. The guy trips over a body. Oh my god. If that's our driver, then that was not the guy. With no bus driver, they contemplate whether or not they should try to walk to this nearby big house. How many want to try and get to the house? And this guy gets attacked by what appears to be a giant bush monster. And our would-be victim gets a machete and starts swinging. It wasn't a driver. A zombie, perhaps. Yeah, you tell me. Sir, I chopped it off him. Whatever it is. Maybe one of them savages. It looks like a bird or a bear. Look, it does. Anyway, this older guy, George, can't make it because uh, I think he has a heart condition. I'm not leaving him. Ethel, his wife's going to stay with him. Okay, we'll go and help you back before you go. I'm not leaving him. Something grabs Helen's leg and pulls her in the water. Jerry goes chasing after her. Remember that old guy, George, who stayed behind? Our next two victims fall into a trap. Ultimately, the remaining survivors make it to the house. They could all be dead in their bed upstairs. <laughs> well, they could, couldn't they? There's a bunch of cannibalism books in the house. God. There's a whole shelf here. German, French, and Italian. And all on cannibalism. Here's our guy, Joe. He's about to lose his head. <laughs> Literally. Remember that weed monster, that bush thing? It's back. And they turn the tables on it. The creature runs off into the woods, and then this guy pops out of the woods. Anything you say, friend. I believe it's his house that he's in, and one of the tourists is with him here. And apparently, they know each other. If you were wondering what happened to Joe's head... Wonder no more. Anyway, the old man fakes an injury to trick them to make them go and leave him. He says they gotta get back to the boat. He just wanted them gone. Tells the woman about all the drug people and drug activity going on. 
toss a couple of bottles of cocktails and swish up a lifetime of work goes up. Our survivors are still being stalked, though. But by people, not monsters. I think these are the drug people. This is what the drug dealers are after. And here's his cocaine stash. But one of our survivors comes back. He realizes this woman here uh, is one of the bad guys. She pleads with Steve that uh, she's in love with him. Meanwhile, the drug dealers, the bad guys, have Sandy captured, kidnapped. The drug dealers show their faces. They agree to an exchange. We'll give you Sandy. You give us that uh, briefcase full of cash. He lets them go, and that's basically how our film ends. All right, let's talk about the movie Zombie Island Massacre. Uh, if you look at that title there, there's three words. Two of the three apply. There is an island, there is a massacre, but there isn't one single zombie going on in this movie. Misleading. What we have here is a group of people, tourists, who are traveling on an island, and apparently um, there's a drug gang on there that's killing them off one by one. For what reason? I don't know. I guess they are looking for this, this briefcase full of money, but none of the tourists have it, so what the hell, right? And uh, for whatever reason, like the main guy who's killing the most of them is dressed up like a giant weed. He's got like grass and leaves all over him, sticks, brush, whatever. He looks like a like a giant bush monster. That's what we're dealing with here. We never even get a really good look at the guy, but that's what's going on here. So uh, ultimately, these people find, uh, those who survive, I should say, find their way into a house on the island, and they meet the guy who's like the owner of the house, but it turns out he's actually the one of the main drug guys, uh, and uh, he double-crosses them later on, and he gets killed himself. Ultimately, we're left with two survivors at the end uh, who make a deal with the... Uh, like the voodoo uh, drug dealer guy on the island. They exchanged the briefcase for Sandy was her name, who was kidnapped at the time. And uh, they go about their merry way, and that's how the movie ends. It's kind of a strange ending. We have the two people who are just walking off, going to their boat, and they survive. And uh, the drug trade continues. Nothing was really resolved in this movie. Very strange. Um, the stars uh, Rita Jenrett, who was uh, married to a, uh, a senator. Was he a senator or a House of Representatives member? I think it was a senator, though. A senator who was involved in some sort of uh, bribe scandal called Abscam. Uh, got $50,000 or something. Shortly after that, they divorced. Uh, she posed for Playboy, did a couple of cheap movies like Zombie Island Massacre, and uh, went about her merry way as well. So she is not a good actor by any means. She's actually a very bad actor. Uh, some of the lines are really corny, but... Whatever, she has a nice rack, which is uh, the reason why she was in here, right? So a couple of nude scenes just with her uh, in the beginning. Uh, she had a shower scene, a topless, and then she was uh, with the guy uh, on the bed, too. Kind of a strange scene there, too, because uh, when the guy was rubbing her back, she was still full of soap, even though she was on the bed. Wipe off, Rita. So anyway, you can get this movie from the Troma Triple B Header. This is the first volume of the five B Header volumes they have. I reviewed Blades and Blood Hook already, so it's on to volume two, right? Hey. So check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Zombie Island Massacre. Leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. Bye.